hello guys and welcome back to our channel and thanks for watching our videos following the report that the nollywood actress rachel oniga has passed on very early this morning and here we will we'll like to let you know the most interesting part of rachel oniga's profile and as well some basic things to know about rachel oniga that has not surfaced to the social media but at first we just pray that may a perfect soul rest in perfect peace rachel oniga her name is rachel tabuno oniga and was born on may 23rd 1957 in lagos state nigeria to parents from Eku, a community in Ethiopia East local government area of Delta State. She is a popular Nollywood actress and a goddess of the movie. Rachel Oniga is 64 years old. And also, talking about a early life, Rachel Oniga had a primary school in Lagos at Abulioja, but had a secondary school in Edo State. According to her, she was withdrawn from secondary school in Lagos by her father and was transferred to Edo because she was always fighting and was a typical tomboy. It did that to calm her down and she claims it was a devastating experience for her because she got separated from her childhood friends and playmates who were mostly boys. She returned to Lagos after her secondary school education and went ahead to further her education studying computer programming. And after graduating, she worked for a while at Asoline Nigeria Limited, a Dutch consultant company. Talking about Rachel Oniga's career, Rachel Oniga officially ventured into acting in 1993 after separating from her husband, in which was claimed that she said she actually regret ever not fighting for a marriage. And before she made a major acting debut in Hollywood with Onome, Oniga worked briefly at Ascoline Nigeria Limited, a Dutch consultant company. Her passion and love for hard work have been behind her consistency in the industry. Although not Yoruba by origin, but she has got a certain prowess enabling her to pick up Yoruba movie roles. Her versatility is certainly one to admire. In her first major appearance was in the soap opera titled Memorial Hospital where she acted as a patient. She became popular for her role in the Yoruba movie, Borekbo. She has then been part of so many other movies. Rachel Oniga is also a movie producer and has been doing very well. Over the years, she had featured in classics and successful movies such as Shango, Died Wretched, The Only Nigerian Girl, and Dr. Belo. Oniga is also a producer, and in 2005, she produced True or False, a movie about Abiku or Ogbanji. Her films include Ebony Life Films, The Royal Hotel Ibiscus, and which debuted in cinemas in February 2018, and Toka Mark Barrow's Kada River, which is yet to get an official release date. Talking about Rachel Oniga's personal life and private life. In 1993, she divorced her now late husband after he left her for another woman. In fact, she is a grandmother because her daughter Georgia delivered a baby. A proud mother of three, the actress became a grandmother on September 5th, 2014 after her daughter Georgia Oniga welcomed a baby girl. Since her divorce, she personally took care of her children, funding their education and meeting their expected needs. Her former husband was said to have died only of recent. And however, Rachel Oniga herself says she is not a widow 
since herself and her husband were separated long before his demise. She is a very private person and only attended functions when she thinks it is important enough. She loves to dress comfortably and elegantly. Rachel Oniga is a recipient of the City People Movie Lifetime Achievement Award. And as well, Rachel Oniga is said to have featured in more than 200 movies. And the one which is current is that of Chief Daddy, in which is the talk of the town and has also made a lot of art, capture a lot of art. And people so much love the movie that just of recent they just br- making, they just made the part two, the sequel of the movie Chief Daddy. And as well, following the report from a family source, it has been reported that Rachel Oniga has been going in and out of hospital of an ailment in which wasn't disclosed. It was also reported that her death has become a shock and a devastating report to her family members, most especially to her children and her grandchildren as well. Although some bloggers and some medias has disclosed that he actually died of COVID-19, but the family are yet to make any statement regarding the cause of death of Rachel Oniga. But we just pray that the Lord will keep the family and stay beside them, stay by them, and also would wish and like that every one of us to say a word of prayer to the family of Rachel Oniga as Rachel Oniga has passed on. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe button and as well as the notification bell beside it. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and let's just give a watch at the pictures of Rachel Omega. One of the seven people, one of the seven wonders of the world, can you imagine? Today is my birthday and I'm happy to be here. This is the famous Niagara Falls in Canada, Ontario. Uh, so wonderful, beautiful. See the walk of nature. It's awesome. I'm so happy to be celebrating my birthday here. A wonderful experience. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. If you've never been here, I bet you you're missing a lot. Come see what nature holds for the world. So nice. So beautiful. Happy birthday.